Good evening. I'd like to continue my study on the fruits of the Spirit. The last time I spoke, I covered, if you remember, if you were here, I covered faith, joy, and love. Tonight, I'm going to cover kindness, peace, kindness, and long suffering. Tone with me to Galatians chapter 5, and let's read verses 22 through 26 if you'd like. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long suffering, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self control against such there is no law. And those who are Christ have crucified the flesh with its passions and desires. If we live in the Spirit, let us also walk in the Spirit. Let us not become conceiting, provoking one another, envying one another. I chose this topic because, well, it's basic and it's easy for anyone to understand. So this brings us to my first point, peace. Webster defines peace as a state of tranquility or quiet. Tranquility is, the, is being free from agitation of mind or spirit or free from disturbance. John chapter 16 verse 33 says, These things I have spoken to you, that in me you may have peace. In the world you will have tribulation, but be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. We can only have true peace in Christ. Now my second point. I, like, I want to discuss kindness. Kindness is defined as the quality of being friendly, generous, and considerate. We can see an example of kindness in the Bible, in the story of the Good Samaritan. Turn with me to Luke chapter 10, and let's read, starting in verse 25. We will read through verse 37. And behold, a certain lawyer stood up testing him, saying, Teacher, what shall I do to inherit eternal life? He said to him, What is written in the law? What is your reading of it? So he answered and said, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your strength, and with all your mind, as your neighbor, neighbor as yourself. And he said to him, You have answered rightly. Do this, and you will live. But he, wanting to justify himself, said to Jesus, And who is my neighbor? Then Jesus answered and said, A certain man went down from Jerusalem to Jericho and fell among thieves who stripped him of his clothing, wounded him, and departed, leaving him half dead. Now by chance a certain priest came down the road, and when he saw him, he passed by on the other side, likewise a Levite. When he arrived at the place, came, came and looked and passed by on the other side. But a certain Samaritan, as he journeyed, came where he was, and when he saw him, he had compassion. So he went to him and bandaged his wounds, pouring on oil and wine. And, when, and he set him on his own animal, brought him to an inn, and took care of him. On the next day, when he departed, he took out two denarii, gave them to the innkeeper, and said to him, Take care of him, and whatever more you spend, when I come again, I will repay you. So which of these three do you think was neighbor to him? Who fell among the thieves? And he said, He who showed mercy on him. Then Jesus said to him, Go and do likewise. Jesus said, Go and do likewise. We need to make sure we are showing compassion and kindness to those in need. My third and final point this evening is long-suffering. Long-suffering is the opposite of being quick-tempered. Paul tells us in Ephesians chapter 4, verse 1 through 3, I therefore the prisoner of the Lord beseech you to walk worthy of the calling with which you were called, with all lowliness and gentleness, with long suffering, bearing with one another in love, endeavoring to keep the unity of the Spirit in the bond of peace. Bearing with one another in love is the opposite of being quick tempered. We see here that in order to bear with one another, Long-suffering is required. We can't be unified if we aren't long-suffering with one another. Today we have talked about peace, kindness, and long-suffering. Each of the fruits of the Spirit are building blocks that each work together. That's all I have. Thank you for your time.